guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, and I want to do a short video about Petco's recent announcement. So over on Facebook recently, a friend of mine posted, hey, did you guys see Petco's announcement? So I went over to Google and typed in Petco announcement November 2018, and this is what I came up with. Petco throws artificial ingredients out and further commits to 360 degree holistic pet gear. What? Are you kidding me? So then I marched right over into Fantasyland in which I imagine Petco throwing out all the crappy kibble, lining their walls with freezers and have their shelves with natural products and everything was gonna be great. Their staff was gonna be more educated. No more rawhide chews in the entire building. No more funky chicken jerky treats has been in too many recalls and for some reason is still on store shelves. None of that. Yay, holistic pet care. Then reality hit and I started paying attention and listening to other people. And this is what the reaction from the community is. Me, yay. Other people, yay. And other people are like, mm, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it, whatevs. And I think everyone's a little bit right. I'm excited because to me, this means our voices are being heard. Pet parents are increasingly wanting to raise their pets naturally. We recognize that for us as humans to eat fast food on a daily basis is not a good idea. It doesn't look good on us. So it doesn't look good on our pets to feed them a processed diet on a daily basis. We want to add more fresh food. And all of this is trickling, trickling, trickling up into the industry. And they're now answering our prayers. Or are they? It's probably more realistic to think that this is a marketing ploy, which everything is. And I'm not knocking anyone for it. As a businesswoman myself, mama's got to pay the bills. I get it. However, eh, is this really, really something genuinely that they want to do? Maybe in a little bit. But could it also be that their lead competitor, at least in my eyes, PetSmart, purchased Chewy.com, I believe, early 2017, 18, can't remember. And now PetSmart has an online business. It's something that both stores, Petco and PetSmart, have always had websites, but Chewy.com, man, they are dominating with this. And PetSmart is now partnering with them. Who's Petco partnering with? Definitely not us. We're not going to help them make any money. When's the last time, if you are someone who feeds raw, when's the last time you were in a Petco or a PetSmart? I mean, I do go in there sometimes to get gifts for people, for gift baskets when I host or I participate in rescue events, things like that. But I don't really spend a whole lot of time in either store. And if I'm not spending a lot of time in the stores, could other people not be spending time in those stores? Did I just do a double negative? Anyway, the last time I was in a Petco, it was really empty. And the last time I was in a PetSmart, it was really empty too. Because to be perfectly honest, many of us order everything online, regardless of where we're going, we do it online. So maybe this is just a way for Petco to, hey, say, hey guys, we're still here. And guess what? We're going to do this. But a lot of people who are a lot smarter than me have dug into what it means to remove um, products with artificial ingredients. In my mind, because I don't know any better and I don't really pay attention to a lot of um, kibble products anymore, that just basically means a lot of the really crappy kibble is going to leave store shelves. No, not really. There's a lot of kibble that decided to stop using artificial ingredients a long time ago. And what are artificial ingredients? We know that the FDA doesn't have a clear definition of what natural is. And we know that there are brands out there that are throwing around the term organic, like it's a color and anyone can use it. It's up to interpretation. I feel organic today. So what does it really mean? Is it just a way for us to start looking in the store? Are they really going to make a huge change? Well, regardless, we're not gonna find out until well into 2019. So let's all make a plan to stop by our local Petco and see what's happening May, June, 2019. See if there's really a huge drastic change. If they still have rawhide on the shelves, I'm gonna say no. Thanks for watching, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this change? Do you think it's legit? Or do you think it's just a marketing ploy?